الله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسوله الكريم وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ومن أحسن قولا من من دعا إلى الله وعامل صالحا وقال إنني من المسلمين رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل الأقدة من لساني يفقه قولي Dear viewers, I greet all of you with the greetings of Islam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Welcome to another episode of The Role Model. In the last program, we have mentioned about the role of Muhammad, peace be upon him, as a husband and how he is the best role model as a husband for all of us to follow in order to have peace and tranquility and satisfaction in our relationship as a husband and wife. In this episode, we shall discuss about the role model as a da'i, as a messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa how he is the role model for all the people, for all the Muslims who would like to get engaged in da'wah, in calling people to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Verily, it is a happy moment that alhamdulillah, there are so many people who are getting into the field of da'wah, calling people to Islam. It is imperative and important for us to understand that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he was the best da'i, he was the best caller. And from his life, we need to take those qualities, those essential things, so that we need to follow in our career of da'wah. Muhammad peace be upon him as the best role model for all the people who call people to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We need to understand the life of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa Muhammad peace be upon him being the best caller, being the best da'i for all the people to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he was an ideal Muslim. The first and foremost quality that a da'i must have is an ideal character. The best Muslim is the one who calls people to Allah subhanahu who calls people to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who has got the best character. As it was reported by Aisha radiallahu anha, when she was asked how was Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, she said, Kana khuluquhu al Quran. His, she said his character, his character was like the Quran. He was the Quran. And another narration we know it is reported Kana Quran and Yamshi al al Ard. He was like a walking Quran on earth, meaning that he was a living Quran. He was a Quran in his actions. Being an ideal Muslim is the fundamental characteristics that a da'i, that a caller of Islam must have in particular. Everybody has it, everybody must have it, ideally and particularly a caller who is calling people to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he must have that good character as did by Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And because of his character, so many people, we know there are so many incidents which are reported by, by seeing his character by looking his personality, his nature, people have embraced Islam. So it is a dire need that we must have and possess a good character and reflect yourself as an ideal Muslim for all the people to understand that if this person is like that, then the religion will definitely be true, not the other way around. That if this person is like that, then definitely the religion is wrong. The religion is bad. We need to give a good picture even without saying anything by doing your actions. Being an ideal Muslim, as a well nurtured character Muslim, you need to call people to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the first thing. The second thing that we study from the life of Muhammad Sallam, being the best caller of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is that he was all he was the, having the best and authentic knowledge. His knowledge was best and authentic. Alhamdulillah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran in Surah 
Yusuf Surah number 12, ayat number 108. Qul, sabili. Say, this is my way. This is my path. Ad'u ilallah. I call people to Allah. Ala basira. With certain knowledge. With deep insight. Ana wa manittaba'an. And me and those who follow me will do the same. Wama ana min al mushrikeen. And I am not among those who associate partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This ayah helps us analyze that for a caller to call people to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he must have sound knowledge. It doesn't mean, it doesn't mean that you need to have complete knowledge. It means that you, whatever you call people to, you must have authentic knowledge about that. You don't have to be, to become a caller, a greatest scholar. You need to be authentic in what you are calling to. This is what it means. So, ad'u ilallah ala basira. I call people to Allah with certain knowledge, with sure knowledge. And this is very important, my brothers and sisters. If you call people to the right knowledge, then you will profit yourself. You will benefit yourself. And if you call people with wrong knowledge, then you will be responsible for their misguidance as well. So we need to make sure that the second quality that we need to have, which we see in the life of Muhammad who is the best caller of people to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is that sound knowledge, authentic knowledge that we need to call people to. The third quality that we find in the life of Muhammad, peace be upon him, for calling people to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that he was always patient and perseverant. He was the most patient when calling people to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He was so patient, subhanallah, that he used to cry to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for their guidance. He used to see the shirk happening in front of him. He, the heart he used to pain. The mind used to have that concern. He was patient. And when he was patient, he was strong. He was established. He was stable on the truth. He was not shaken up by the enemies, by their, by their plots. He was never, never showed his impatience with the people. He was always patient with the people and he was perseverant. He was always want to convey the message of Islam to the people, having that concern. So we need to make sure that we need to have that quality of being patience and perseverance. These two things are very important. And we see when we do da'wah in practice, in, da in, in practice, in reality, when we do da'wah, this is the element that is required a lot. So as a best caller, Muhammad Muslim, he showed patience and he, and he showed perseverance while doing da'wah. So we need to be as a caller of Islam, take Muhammad Muslim as a role model and follow him in his footsteps. The fourth quality that we see in the life of Muhammad Muslim as a best caller is that he sacrificed. Wallah, the way he sacrificed, we know, we know no one can sacrifice. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al Imran, Surah number 3, ayat number 92, birra hatta tunfiqu mimma tuhibbun. You will never attain piety, goodness, righteousness until and unless you sacrifice that which you love the most. And Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa he showed us that there is no price, that there is no price without sacrifice. You need to pay the price. If you want to get into Jannah, it is not easy. It is not easy. You need to pay, you need to pay the price. You need to sacrifice. A da'i must have a sacrificing nature. There will be so many challenges. There will be so many difficulties that will come on his way. But he need to be, he need to be a person who is always sacrificing, as did by Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. He sacrificed his whole life in conveying the message of Islam. He sacrificed his Sahaba. He sacrificed his own family. He sacrificed his, his dignity. They insulted him. They humiliated him. But he was patient. 
he will always sacrifice for his deen. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam being the best caller, he was sincere. My dear brothers and sisters, Islam is all about sincerity. You need to call people to Allah only for Allah, not for your fame, not for your uh, influence, not for anything else, not for any materialistic things, not for this dunya. You need to be sincere when you call people to Allah. You need to look back again. The best caller, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the best da'i, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He was always sincere. He did everything only for Allah, only to please Allah subhanahu wa taala. This is again a fundamental quality that we need to possess. Moreover, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, as a best da'i, he was always eager to convey the message of Islam to others. which means that whenever wherever we get the opportunity we need to create the opportunity in order to take the message of allah to all the people he as muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam the best caller of islam he did not leave any opportunity of calling people to allah subhanahu wa taala connecting people to their lord we need to have these qualities and follow muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam as the best role model in terms of calling people to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help us performing in this role of da'i of calling people to Islam calling people to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with these fundamental principles fundamental qualities which Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam had we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help us follow Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam the role model as a da'i as a caller we would like to end this episode with an ayah in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala praised the one who calls in which it is mentioned the honor that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given to a da'i a caller it is mentioned in the Quran in surah fussilat surah number 41 ayah number 33 Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says ومن أحسن قولا ممن دعا إلى الله وعمل صالحا وقال إنني من المسلمين. Who is better in speech than the one who calls people to Allah, does righteous deeds, and and call himself among the Muslims. وآخر دعوانا أن الحمد لله رب العالمين والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته.